let me just get to uh, the tu new tank bag well so uh, this is easy access uh, and and why i changed to the enduristan sandstorm 4x tank bag is because this is tiny this is not the tiniest this is uh not uh as big as my uh, SW Motec Enduro tank bag. Well, even that bag uh, would just, I mean, I, I'm, I'm starting to do only off-road riding and that bag was not suited for it. It used to wobble around a bit. It used to shake a bit and, and that used to constantly get to me. No, no matter uh, where I ride, no matter how I ride, I, I, I don't want my bag to keep doing this. No matter how much I fastened it tightly to my subframe and uh, the machine, it would still be a little wiggly and wobbly. So uh, I thought um, I should get myself something which would stay put, not move around and just be there, uh, sitting, idle. So yeah, so a small little tank bag, what does it have? It has my uh, Leatherman, which would come in handy, especially when you're on trails like this. Um, a wet tissue, uh, nutrition bar, adapter for the wire, for this wire, and the, uh, the charging socket is over here on my side. Uh, backup camera, a uh, small rag, that's about it. Nothing serious, nothing crazy, just a fancy little toy. And uh, I love it. I love being able to access my tools and my uh, immediate uh, consumables, everyday carry items on the tank. I don't like to remove the backpack, bring it to the front and then pull out things and put it back. It's because I always am anxious if I uh, put the zippers back uh, on, you know. I'm always worried about opening the zippers because I, I keep checking my bag again and again if I've done the zippers well. So a quick tank bag, well, uh, it mounts in a very nice way. So they give you this harness to mount onto your frame. This can be widened, uh, reduced, uh, narrowed uh, d down to a size which will fit any motorcycle. It's, it's extremely well uh, thought of. So this can be manipulated to fit just about any motorcycle with any tank size or any frame size. And then this is the bottom side of the tank bag. Uh, guys, just don't mind all this. This is, this is because it's an enduro motorcycle. Now it's starting to look like one. <laughs> and uh, yeah. So this has a wonderful soft pad over here, which uh, rests on the tank, no scratches, and it's also quite grippy. So that's the uh, that's the beautiful beauty of this. This this stays put; it doesn't move around, flop around like most tank bags would do. Uh, the buckles go like that, and that, and that, and that that's about it so that's the tank bag these are the gloves from short short race gear got this from uh, france dear friend yusuf bought it i uh, brought it along with him you have the r15 tank bag uh, which has the hydration bladder Short trips, long trips, no matter what. Uh, Chennai's weather is taxing. It's been a pretty calm day, but still, it's, it's taxing weather. Yeah, so the tank bag, um, the backpack, and uh, well, that's all there is to it. Nothing more. I don't carry a lot of stuff. Yeah, that's about it. Uh, yeah, the tank bag also has some zip ties and spare fuses and things like that. Um, but the, the backpack has the uh, spare tubes. It has water. It has some food. It has um, this, the, yeah, the tire inflator. Very important, I don't go out without the tire inflator. I never, ever, ever venture into these places without the tire inflator. Uh, a puncher is usually, in these kind of places, it's usually a nail. So uh, the best thing, no, not a nail, sorry, uh, a thorn. 
and uh, as long as you let the nail or the thorn stay in, small fellas, um, you can definitely uh, use the tire inflator to inflate the tires, get some air in, uh, and you can definitely clear these places. You can be out before uh, you cause damage to uh, the rims. Um, and that is why it's imperative to carry the tire inflator with you no matter where you go. Uh, it has come in handy a zillion times. It's just that, you know, there's not all of this that's being captured. I'm not roaming around with this camera almost on every single trip. 50% of the trips I cover it with uh, the camera. 50% of the trips it's just me. I'm vexed. I'm upset. I'm irritated. And so I do things on my own. I'm at a much faster pace. And it's usually the places that I visit often. So the next time if I come here, uh, then maybe I might not have the camera on. It's because there's no point, you know, sharing the same places to you, you guys again and again and again. Well, uh, that should be it. Um, a quick, quick uh, take on my tank bag, new tank bag. Yes, it is expensive, very expensive. Boils down to personal preference more than anything. I like to have things which uh, on my motorcycle which make it look uh, nice too. I'm, I'm, I'm an aesthetic um, a person. I, I like things that look beautiful and it's, it's imperative to me that the proportions are right and uh, hence you see me swap things after a point of time. Well, But that being said, this is one of the best looking Himalayans uh, in the country, um, maybe in the world too and uh, that's only because I've been constantly iterating, I've been changing, swapping things out here and there which are a little off proportion. Well, that's about it. If you guys like this um, video if you like the place then uh, subscribe to the channel subscribe to the channel share these videos with your friends and i shall see you guys on another one until then this is ben signing out for now ciao